Thank you, and I thank my colleagues for holding this press conference. Lake and Riley should still be alive. The reason that she is not alive is because of Joe Biden's open borders and because of the Democrats' policies refusing to secure our border. There is a simple but-for causation. The murderer took the life of that 22-year-old beautiful young woman, a nursing student in Georgia out jogging. We had him in custody. He was apprehended in El Paso, crossing illegally from Venezuela. Had Joe Biden simply followed the law, what would have happened is that murderer would have been put on a plane, flown back to Venezuela, and Lake and Riley would still be alive. But the Biden administration decided their political agenda was more important than protecting the lives of American citizens, and so they let the murderer go. But that wasn't the last stop of the failures that unfolded. The murderer went from El Paso to New York City, where he was arrested once again, this time for endangering the safety of a child. Once again, Lake and Riley's life could have been saved, but New York City, unfortunately, is a sanctuary city where Democrats refused to enforce the law, so they let the murderer go. Had New York City put him in jail, that murderer would not have been in Georgia to beat Lake and Riley to death. But New York City let him go once again. This revolving door happens over and over again, and I have to say just how indefensible the Biden administration's policies on the border are was laid bare during the State of the Union, where in his prepared remarks, President Biden did not plan to say a word about Lake and Riley. And then in response to heckling, he did address her. He got her name wrong. And here was Joe Biden's defense. He said she was killed by a, quote, illegal. And he said, well, legals kill people, too. I want you to understand what the President of the United States is saying. Because there are murderers in America, it's perfectly okay for him to continue releasing more murderers into America. That is asinine. That makes utterly no sense. And by the way, the insult was compounded where the next day, what did Joe Biden do? He didn't apologized to Lake and Riley's parents. He didn't take responsibility that his policies released the murderer that took their daughter's life. He didn't do any of that. Instead, he apologized for using the word illegals. Because to this White House, it's more important to genuflect before the American Politburo of language than it is to actually protect American citizens. Listen, the Lake and Riley Act is simple common sense legislation. It passed the House with a large bipartisan majority. The Senate ought to take it up and pass it as well, although I have to say I have complete confidence that Chuck Schumer and the Senate Democrats have no interest in doing so because the sad priority of this White House and of the Senate Democrats is they put illegal aliens and criminals consistently higher on the priority list than protecting the lives of American citizens and over and over again, we see more and more Americans losing their lives as a, as a result.